the devil was doing with Eve. He didn't go to the guys in the cubicles with facts and figures. He went to Eve and enticed her with feelings and moods and emotions and desires. That's what he did. And so that's how the devil talks. Um, you ever been in Taco Bell? I, I'm not a big fan of Taco Bell. And now I have a reason. I have an excuse. Lisa, you want to go Taco Bell? Lisa, there's not anything there that I can eat because I'm diabetic and it will hurt me. Play this little game. But I, I remember driving up to Taco Bell one time and you see all these signs all over the, all over the building on the windows, you know, blackjack taco free after dark and blah, 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 free, it's free, it's free. And I was explaining to my father-in-law one time, I said, Sterling, did you know that there has been an attempt right now to influence your mind into accepting the mark of the beast? My, my father-in-law is a, is a great man when it comes to mechanical things or designing things, he is a genius with a sixth grade education. Guy's amazing, but he's pretty no nonsense. Okay. How's that work? And I showed him, I said, Sterling, you know, you walked in here on the outside. You saw the sign that said free. There's actually a number there. So you go inside the building and look out the windows and it's reversed. Now you see a number, 33. And now every time I go to Taco Bell and I look at those signs and it says free, I'm going, there's a number 33 right there. They didn't, and your brain takes all that stimulus in and it does all, it just says, well, let's turn it upside down. Let's do this, let's do that. Do you remember back in the 70s when all these rock groups were doing backward masking? And it's actually, you can actually see it in the scripture. God said that he'd turn everything around backwards. They would go backwards. Everything was backwards. If you're, if you're not living for the Lord, it's backwards. Aleister Crowley telling everybody, do things backwards, play records backwards. And so there was these messages in this music. And I really believe that the brain subconsciously is taking this stuff in turning it around, doing things with it, and perceiving it on a subconscious level. But it's there. And it and it's part of the impulsiveness and the feelings and the desires that we have. So let me show you a verse that matches what I just said. Let me show you this again. There is the free taco with the 33 in it. And then look at this verse. 1 Corinthians 15. See, I tried not to be subtle with it. 33! Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. What was God trying to tell us? What is he trying to tell us right now? He's telling us that one of the most important messages of the Bible, and that is don't believe the lie. Don't fall for it because that's what it is. It's not the truth of the gospel, the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. It's not that, it's a lie. And, it, and it, that lie was brought to you not straight on, but subtly. The Bible says now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Paul said, I'm worried about you guys because I fear lest Satan, as he tempted Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be, he used the same word there, corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. So he says, be not deceived, evil communications, corrupt good manners. Let me give you another illustration of this. And, and I will tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna use a dirty word, but I'm gonna, there's a word here that I don't normally use. I don't normally use it. I know we have young people watching and I know, you know, and, and I try to keep everything that I have G-rated. And believe me, there are a ton of examples that I was looking at on the internet and I'm going, oh, I, can't, I can't use that one, I can't use that one. But I'm gonna show you, some of you already know this, but I'm gonna show you just how subtle this this is and and when you see that and you say okay pastor hog breath 
I'm not convinced that everybody that works for Taco Bell is in the Illuminati. Okay, I'm not convinced. Let me read you some scripture. Ephesians, and I've said this before. Ephesians 2, wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So what does that mean? I'm going to give you the sense and the meaning of it. At one time, all of us were in the Illuminati. We were. At one time, we were children of our father, the devil. At one time, we were led, not by the Holy Spirit of God, but by the Spirit of Antichrist. At one time, in time past, ye walked according to the course of this world. What is the course of this world? The course of this world takes ye, everybody, to the mark of the beast and thus eternal destruction. That's the course of this world. You and I were put on a different course. But what was leading us to that? The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So, yeah, there's a guy who works for a marketing agency, an ad company. And, oh, think about this. Paul said, oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? Do you remember the show Bewitched? What did both Darrens, the first Darren and the second Darren, and I'll be honest with you, I like the first Darren because he wasn't queer. Second, second Darren was, okay? Both Darrens worked for an ad company, marketing, advertising. And marketing companies spend a gazillion dollars a year studying the human brain, studying how they can use images, colors, words, graphics, subtle things that you consciously would never pick up on. But these guys have hinged their entire marketing strategy on the fact that your conscious mind is only going to pick up a fraction of what your subconscious mind is going to pick up. Have you ever seen full page ads in magazines? And what do you do with them? You flip, you flip, and then you go back to the next article. They gotcha. They gotcha because your conscious mind was focused on one thing on that ad. Your subconscious took in the entire page, just like that. And evil communications were corrupting good manners. So yes, there's a guy working at an ad agency who's lost, he's not saved. And so he doesn't have a problem morally in his morals has a problem in the world deceiving people. That's his job. But also there is a spirit that is on him and in him and leading him. And so we start seeing all of these things around us that we never used to see before. I've made mention before, all of the corporate logos are changing. Have you noticed that? All the icons are different. All the strategies, the marketing strategies are the logos, the colors, they're all together different. This, and they say, this is our new paradigm now of, of how we're doing business. See? So this is an illustration of that. Acts. Now, I will tell you that if you're washing your body with the liquid that's in this bottle, that will not make you go to hell. It will not make you. I have to admit, I don't buy my own body wash. My wife does. And my wife, she does not look for the best product on the market. She looks for what's on sale. And she will come home with 12 bottles of body wash. And I said, honey, 
I don't use it that fast. Well, it's not going to go bad, and it was on sale, and I got it cheap. So you're going to use it. Okay, we're good. She buy it because it's on sale. But here's what happened. And I, I'm telling you right now that there is an, a subliminal message on this bottle that your conscience brain didn't see at first unless you were really looking for it. And now I'm going to show it to you. See, there is a letter S in the little cloud or the whatever letter, whatever design that is. Now there's a word here. And that was done on purpose. It was done on purpose. Because remember the remember the remember what we were talking about. Where is that? Where I, let me pull that that verse again about bellies. Don't talk about my belly, all right? Um where was it? Oh, Romans 16, 18. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Remember what the belly represents. It's your midriff area. And it's where your appetites are. Your heart is up above that. Your heart doesn't have an appetite. Your lungs don't have an appetite. They don't have impulses but your stomach sure does. And you're watching, I remember watching a documentary on the American hamburger one night, late night. I stayed up till midnight watching this thing and when I was done watching it, I wanted to get up out of bed, get dressed, take five bucks and go buy about 3,000 hamburgers. I was so hungry. It was just a documentary. But my belly had an impulse and it had a desire and it had a crave. So I got up and made a peanut butter sandwich. It just wasn't the same. But remember our belly encompasses our loins as well. And two things that can drive just about any human being to do just about anything, hunger for food and lustful fulfillment that's what drives people and marketers know that if they can associate their product either with the appetites of the belly or the appetites of the loins they got gotcha. you they got gotcha. you but see we don't follow that we don't follow that we're not going to be deceived we're not going to fall for that and so we have a spirit that leads us in a different way. Let me show you some scriptures here. First Peter chapter five, verse eight says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil as a roaring lion. And remember there's two lions in the Bible. One's the lion of the tribe of Judah and one Satan. How are you going to know the difference? Here's how he's telling you right here in this verse, how you can know the difference. Number one, you gotta be sober. You got to have your wits about you. You have to be